when you talk about great short-lived shows, Lizard Lick Towing comes to mind. The show may have only lasted from 2010 to 2014, but it covered an interesting story of Ronnie Shirley and his wife's Amy's North Company Towing Company. The show also featured a colorful cast, so check out what all of them are up to now that the series is over. What happened to Lizard Truck Towing? Well, as you know, the show ended, but what about the company that the show and its title were based on? Well, you will be delighted to know that while the series ended, the company has continued to remain in business until today. The towing business, whose full name is Lizard Lick Towing and Recovery, is still up and running in Lizard Lick, which is just outside of Raleigh, North Carolina. They even have an official website that reads, Each day brings a new challenge to the table. Each defaulted customer seems to provide a new challenge, and each satisfied account that we service seems to put a glowing stamp on the end of the day. Amy and the Lizard Lick crew pride themselves on being able to tow just about anything from any place at any time using their serious horsepower, the business's website adds. The website also has photos where you can see a lot of the cast members are still a part of the business as well. It includes Jack of All Trades, Cousin Johnny, Front Office Assistant Big Juicy, and Tow Truck Driver Swirly Earl, as per Distractify. Recent tragedy for the cast, however, we wish all we have is good news for you. Lizard Lick Towing also has its own TikTok account where they have just over a million followers and actively features the Shirley's and their longtime employees, and however not everything we found from their current social media activities was so fun. Ronnie's son, Harley Alexander Shirley, died aged just 21 in Garner, North Carolina, in February 17, 2022, caught in a shooting. Harley is at peace now, waiting on the rest of us to arrive at those gates. We will be there soon, big sure, and will always cherish the times we had while you were with us, son. Ronnie wrote shortly after the news broke on his Facebook, confirming the news. Following the shooting, Sophie Hagee, 20 separate paralysis, more than $80,000 was raised through GoFundMe established in her honor. According to WRAL News, police detained two teenagers ages 16 and 17 and accused them of murder and attempted murder. Diana Sarah Jackson, 38, was accused of obstructing justice in connection with the investigation, and Cassidy Lorraine Hunter, 21, was arrested and charged with accessory. Later, Ronnie told WRAL his family had received support from social media users during their period of grief. These people honestly, firmly in their heart, care, he said. They watched my son on TV. He was on so many episodes. He was always smiling and joking. He was always a cut up. Man, always a cut up. He also had a message for his son's perpetrators, which was, if I could say anything to them at all, it would be, I don't hate you, but I don't know if I can forgive you.